Hi, I'm Patricia Kutab, artist and illustrator. And for those of you who like to color, I'd like to give you some tips and a technique today to use when you're coloring. Um, I'm gonna start with my book uh, that I created called In the Garden, Volume One. It's available on Amazon. I hand drew all of these illustrations. They're nature-based drawings. I use a Pigma Micron archival ink when I am drawing with pen, in case you're interested in that. Um, when I do color, I prefer to use Prismacolor colored pencils. Most artists use these. They're um, really great, vibrant colors. They blend really well. Uh, they can be a bit pricey, so I suggest you start with a small set, something like this, that has the primary colors. And the great thing about Prismacolor uh, pencils is you can buy individual colors. So um, if you need a certain shade of green, a darker, lighter, most art stores will have a display full of Prismacolor pencils. And for one or two dollars, you can buy exactly what you need. Uh, each pencil has a name and a number. Um, so it's great. You can add to your collection and over time you'll have a beautiful array of, of colors to choose from. Um, I also suggest getting a uh, pencil sharpener, an electric pencil sharpener will save you a lot of time and help keep your pencils sharp. Okay, I'm just going to pick a page to get started. Uh, I don't like to start at the beginning, so I'm going to pick um, this one here. And don't get too hung up on the color that something is supposed to be. You're the creative one, make it what you want. You can do two or three colors if you want. I'm going to start with red on this rose. And just like when you were a kid and you learned to color in the lines, we're going to start along the edges of a line. And I'm going to work on this large petal here first. And what I'm going to do is apply some pressure here along the line and work my way towards the center. Okay? Kind of like outlining the section first. The harder you push, the more pencil that's laid down, the more color that gets laid down. And one technique that I use is when I hold it closer to the tip, that's when you have more control and you're putting more color down. If you hold it farther away from the tip, it's less control, but you can do shading with that and lightly add the color. Okay, so you want to work from the line and work toward the middle. And I'm going to go all the way around this petal here. Again, more pressure where the line is. I'm working my way around. And don't worry about going outside the lines. It's all about relaxing and enjoying laying down the color. Okay. Now I'm going to introduce a, a, another color here. Let's just choose an orange. And I'm going to lay the orange right on top of that red. And again, the harder you push, the more blending that's happening. That's how you blend colors. And you see the texture that's created by the colored pencil. The more color you put down, then the texture kind of goes away. So closer to the middle, I'm just gonna do a light, light shading here because I'm gonna add a lighter color to blend that together. And I'm gonna choose a yellow. Just do a little blending for some highlights. There we go. And it's always a good idea to have a white pencil because white is great for blending and creating highlights. And that's what I'm going to do here, smooth it out. You can really get it smoothed out with white. And if you need to go back, add some darker color with your red, your original color. That's fine, that's what you do. On the white colored pencils, you might want to buy a few different whites because when you blend with the white, the color actually ends up on your pencil. So you might want to have a um, one for blues, one for reds, and that sort of thing. Okay, and that's it. Thank you, enjoy, and happy coloring.